Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing today a uh, motion in a straight line, and this is lecture number five. I hope you have already watched part one to part four before watching this part five. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about uniform and non-uniform acceleration. So, what is uniform and non-uniform acceleration? In last lecture, we had discussed the acceleration, what is acceleration, and how acceleration can be derived. In this lecture, we will discuss about uniform and non-uniform acceleration. Thereafter, we will discuss the graph of the functions as well. And uh, graph of functions means graph of uniform and non-uniform acceleration, acceleration time graph, and etc. So, let us start uh, the lecture today. In this lecture, uh, as I said, we will discuss uniform and non-uniform. Uniform and non-uniform acceleration non-uniform acceleration right this is the topic which i want to discuss today what is uniform acceleration so first topic is uniform acceleration uniform acceleration what is this when the rate of change rate of change is equal in equal interval of time of time rate of change in velocity let's specify this when rate of change in velocity is equal in equal interval of time equal interval of time then expression of body is said to be expression of body is said to be said to be uniform uniform graphically it can be represented like we can represent it graphically as if there is this is a time and this is a velocity in velocity time graph acceleration is this is in velocity time graph acceleration is uniform said to be uniform if it is like this represented by a straight line because in velocity time graph this slope will represent this slope will represent the acceleration and the slope is everywhere at each and every point on this curve slope is same right now so therefore acceleration during the journey is uniform so a straight line in velocity time graph a straight line represent in this is a velocity time graph velocity time graph and this will represent uniform acceleration that is uniform acceleration in acceleration time graph if I would uh, like to draw a graph a of acceleration time graph and we want to find x uniform acceleration then this is a acceleration here and time is there origin is here and in acceleration time graph, if it is a straight line, if it is a straight line, then it will represent a uniform acceleration, right? Now. So, uniform acceleration in acceleration time graph, this will be uniform acceleration. So, this is a acceleration time graph acceleration time graph for uniform acceleration and both are representing uniform acceleration so in acceleration time graph in velocity time graph the things are different you know but because uh, in velocity time graph the slope will be equal to acceleration and that slope is same 
for each and every point of the, of the journey. Therefore, it is a uniform expression. Now, non-uniform expression. For example, uh, if you want to draw a graph regarding this, then that would be because speed is zero when time is zero, right now. When time is one second, speed is say five. When time is two second, the speed is ten. When time is three second, the speed is fifteen. So every second, the speed is increasing at rate of five meter per second. So velocity is increases at rate of five meter per second, and therefore we can say the equal increase in equal interval of time. So that is uniform acceleration. When a body is freely falling under gravity, then there is a acceleration of this kind, uniform acceleration. When a body is freely falling under gravity, then acceleration is uniform. Right now, and uh, this is uniform acceleration. Body is freely falling under gravity. Acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. So when a body is freely falling. The velocity is increases and acceleration is uniform. When a body is freely falling under gravity, right now, so this is x axis, this is y axis, this is origin. So when a body is freely falling, when a body is falling under gravity, under gravity, gravity, then this is the acceleration and uniform retardation also there can be uniform retardation when velocity of body is decreasing then there will be uniform retardation as well then there will be uniform retardation and that uh, uniform retardation is nothing else but uh, velocity is decreasing successively and uh, it may be or may not be zero, but uh, this is called uniform retardation. So when velocity is decreases successively, then there is a uniform retardation. I hope you got the point. So that will give uniform retardation. Uniform uh, retardation. Retardation or negative acceleration or like this. When a body is this graph is when a body is thrown vertically upward vertically upward then there is uniform retardation upward right now when a body is thrown vertically upward and when a body is falling under gravity then uh, uniform retardation is there and bodies it started from this speed say this is speed and it will be body started from this speed this is a v initial velocity and their final velocity become zero so velocity is decreasing successively that is uniform retardation now uh, there is another topic that is non-uniform acceleration non-uniform acceleration what is that non-uniform acceleration when a body is travel body travels when a body travels travels such that its velocity changes velocity changes either by magnitude either by magnitude or by direction or by direction either by magnitude or by direction right then then body travel such that its velocity changes either by magnitude or di by direction Continuously, continuously 
the acceleration of body is said to be the acceleration of body is said to be of body is said to be non uniform non uniform right for example uh, when a body is moving on a circular orbit its acceleration is non uniform acceleration is because velocity is changing so acceleration is changing every time velocity is changing so acceleration is changing acceleration is changing since change in velocity here the change in velocity because velocity is changing at every point of time with direction in that case even the magnitude is same but the acceleration is said to be non uniform this is the velocity here is the direction of velocity and similarly um, here is also the direction of velocity so um, magnitude of the motion is changing every time and therefore magnitude is not changing even if in uniform circular motion the velocity is changing and therefore acceleration is changing so this is a non uniform acceleration graph of this this is one of the example and graph of this can be plot like here in velocity time graph velocity time graph velocity time graph time graph of non uniform motion this is what this is a x axis this is a y axis y axis and this is a velocity and there is a time this is origin so in that case the graph will be in that case the graph will be velocity is increasing here in this side huh? and uh, this is much. graph can be a curve the graph of that will be a curve like this so graph will be not a straight line but it will be a curve so this is a increasing velocity velocity is increasing if graph is like this then there is a decreasing non uniform deceleration so this is a non uniform deceleration here graph is successively uh, decreasing so increasing or decreasing uh, let me draw in a single in a single this is graph this is non uniform this is non uniform non uniform acceleration right and if the graph is like this velocity is decreasing say like this then this is called non uniform deceleration non non uniform retardation retardation right non uniform retardation so non uniform acceleration and non uniform retardation velocity is decreasing but not equal in equal interval of time at any point on the slope uh, at any point it will give the what it will give the magnitude of acceleration because slope is represent the acceleration so this is what velocity time graph right now. and uh, this is all about uniform and non uniform acceleration i hope you got the point okay now it is not necessary that body always start from rest and uh, Always, uh, when ever final, it will uh, stop. The final velocity is zero. Sometimes we can observe acceleration in between as well, and therefore uh, there are some more graphs where body do not start from rest, and uh, final velocity is not also zero. In that case, what will happen? So, in that case, uh, let us see this graph. This graph has initial velocity, say u, and final velocity somewhere. This is the increasing uniform. Some graphs are there. This is a u. 
say this point is u velocity u initial velocity is u naught say and final velocity is v so here uh, this is a straight line and therefore it will represent this is a velocity here this time times and this is zero and this is so here this will represent in form acceleration where u is not in equal to zero initial velocity is not equal to zero and acceleration is positive that is uniform acceleration here uniform acceleration the another graph is there uh, which uh, can represent a velocity of body not starting from zero right and uh, this is origin again this is zero and this is a t velocity is increasing this side so here the expression is like this body start from v naught that is u and increasing this expression so expression increases like this uh, let me write the graph so like this so this is also increasing expression here u is not equal to zero and expression is positive and that is non uniform expression non uniform acceleration right huh? that is and another graph can be also plot where expression is neither increasing not decreasing but constant expression is zero so expression is zero in that case but when initial velocity u not is same as final velocity in that case u not is not equal to zero and v is also equal to u not in that case acceleration is zero acceleration is zero here v not is greater than v is final velocity is greater than u not here final velocity is greater than u not right so that is when here also final velocity is greater than u naught. Final velocity is greater than u naught. Here it is same. So that is why in this case this is uniform expression, this is non-uniform expression and this is zero. There is no expression. Now we can have another graph as well. Let us see uh, some graph of decreasing expression like uh, here velocity is say This is uniformly retarded velocity. Here, initial velocity is like uh, initial velocity is this and final velocity is this. So here, a uh, final velocity is less than initial velocity. Final velocity is less than initial velocity. You can write u naught is not equal to zero, and v is less than u naught u naught initial velocity. And therefore, acceleration is negative, less than zero, and that is called because it is a straight line. So that is called uniform retardation. Uniform retardation. Retardation, right? Uniform retardation. And uh, if I have another graph of uh, this category, where the acceleration is uniform retardation, non-uniform retardation. In that case also we can write uh, graph is like this. Graph can be like this. So, so here uh, this is uniform retardation because uh, this is u naught, this is v, and u naught is not equal to zero, but v is less than u naught, and a is negative because slope is negative. At any point here, if you want to find, this will be slope. And slope is more than that will make more than 90 degree angle and that will be second quadrant so tan theta in second quadrant will be negative so slope is negative so at any point if I draw a line then that line will be if I draw a slope at any point say this is the point where if I draw a slope to find the magnitude of expression uh, it will be uh, making an obtuse angle and that will give uh, negative value. So acceleration is negative. And since velocity is decreasing, so that is why this is called non-uniform retardation. This is what non-uniform retardation. Retardation. Non-uniform. 
on uniform retardation so non uniform retardation so velocity can be uh, increasing can be decreasing and even there are some graphs in which velocity can be described as from negative velocity as well velocity can be negative na so velocity can be negative as well so let us summarize all those concepts in one graph only so i am going to draw this graph and in this graph we will learn about all those concepts what we learned earlier that is um, whether it is uh, zero acceleration or uh, say so in this graph if graph is like this or like this or even a straight line like uh, a straight line this. so in this graph one it represent where acceleration is zero this is acceleration zero this acceleration is positive this acceleration is negative this acceleration is also positive this acceleration is also negative and that is a constant acceleration positive constant acceleration so here in all these six diagrams you can see this that what they represent in fact let me explain this one by one so in first one say first one so i hope you got it here the graph third is um this is a positive first is uniform velocity that is acceleration is zero in second one what is that constant positive acceleration constant positive acceleration positive acceleration right in third one it is a variable variable negative retardation retardation so like that similarly four is what is four or represent here uniform for each uniform acceleration fifth is fifth is non uniform non uniform acceleration right now and sixth is uniform retardation uniform retardation or constant retardation uniform retardation right now. so all these points are there and you can use them you understood them what is this okay now there is another term that is called average acceleration so what is that let me explain this average acceleration acceleration average acceleration what is this the average acceleration average acceleration of a moving body of a moving body is defined as defined as the total change in velocity change in velocity to the the ratio of as the ratio of as the ratio of as the ratio of right here ratio of the total change in velocity total change in velocity to the total time to the total time undergoes undergo in the change in the change that is total time taken similar like average yeah, speed so average expression so average expression therefore average acceleration 
average acceleration acceleration h total change in velocity total change in velocity upon total time taken total time taken total time taken so average acceleration a average acceleration is denoted as a average is equal to change in velocity that is final velocity final velocity minus initial velocity initial velocity divided by time total time taken time taken so that is average velocity so that will come here uh, a change in velocity upon change in time so average acceleration is defined as in vector notation like this change in velocity upon change in time in vector notation and that is important therefore so this is an about average acceleration instantaneous acceleration already discussed i hope you got it this is all about uh, in this class we will discuss uh, some equations of motion after break so now let us it's time to take break and after the break we will uh, derive equations of motion thank you thank you very much for watching this god bless keep watching